Okay, in this tutorial we're going to go more in depth into Cucumber uh, type of syntax. So I'm just going to click on Docs and then click on Reference Manual. And we're going to look for something more advanced. Um, uh, the one I wanted to do was this because I thought that would be the most uh, um, useful. So, yeah. So we're going to copy that and then we're going to go over here to our features file and we're going to paste that in there <clears throat> so we just have um, so given the cow weighs some variable name so we don't have a lot of variable names here so we're actually going to remove uh, most of these I think so we're just not going to use those and or that or that or that or that And then, so let's go ahead and copy this. I'll put that there. And then instead of this string of text, they we're just going to put, um, and then replace this with num. And this is specifically for when we want it to be too long, so pretty much going to do this and we'll see what happens when I do that and okay so I saved the file saving okay just saved I'm going to go ahead and build this application again um, in fact we'll probably just run it on the Android virtual device and it'll probably work then um, so let me choose my pixel and like I know I said before the Android virtual devices are bad but I just want to do this so you guys can see it Okay, so it's going to spin up. So then here's our credit card validator app. So now what we can do is uh, execute our commands, which uh, I have to remember what they are. Uh, but I'm going to open up my terminal instead of this one that's inside of uh, Android Studio. Um, let's see. And do I need to be in the features file? I don't think I do. I'm just going to increase the font here. So I think I had to re sign it. And then once I re-signed it, I had to build it, and that would sync the signatures between the server and the application. And then once I did that, then I'm able to run it. So it had a few parse errors. So unexpected end of file, table row. Okay, so we have a syntax error. So that doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so we need scenario outline. So 
I'm going to save that and then let's go ahead and run that command again see what happens okay so it looks like it's running uh, okay so it's trying all all those different ones in the scenario but now it's having a problem with the HTTP connection being kept alive um, so what I normally did before was when my my support directory I had uh, this and I had this annotation in there and this seems to work for virtualized environments but does not work for physical environments so I'm going to save I save that so let's see what happens when I run that once more Alright, so that wasn't the answer. What was the history of this file? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to rebuild it once more. We'll clean the project. and we're going to go ahead and run the project again choose our pixel okay so there's our application let's go ahead and see if it runs now okay so it turned off should start up the application again okay it still doesn't like that Try re-signing it. And we'll build a new server. And then let's run it one more time. So we're still having a problem. Uh, this is a, a pretty frequent problem that I've been encountering so far. And I'm just gonna. Okay, so it does have the internet access. Um, Excuse me. It's a pretty frequent problem that was solved for me when I did uh, a special annotation here that specifically said at restart. And when I did that, it seemed to work, but it didn't seem to work when I did that again. Maybe I need to resign the server once I do that. Let's copy this. So I don't remember the exact syntax. I don't think I need this here though. No. So I do need in parentheses. Yeah, 
Use at restart before any scenario you want to restart the app. Fix the problem for me. I think it works. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, save that and let's go ahead and resign file again. And we'll build it. And we'll run it. See what happens. All right, still failing. But it is checking all those features. So I wonder what would happen if I did that in my local machine. Hmm. It has access to the internet. should start up the application. Let's go ahead and revert our change and see what happens. So I'm just going to cut this out of here. And let's go ahead and resign it. Build it. Run it and see what happens. Uh, zero scenarios. Oh, okay. So I forgot to move the outline. You can probably just run it. Okay. Well, it does, the syntax for running multiple examples there does work. It just, uh, this one doesn't want to work for me at the moment when I want to do my tutorial. But thank you for watching. I'll get this fixed and then tell you when I did.